you imagine just going to work and people are just like, woo! <laughs> Jenny's here! You know? That's what I love about this job. It's a fun, fun job. Um, there are, people always say, God, this is the greatest job, but you know, is, is it always great? And there are ups and downs of being on TV, and I'll tell you that right now. I mean, the ups are the, the obvious things, the perks, and the get to go to the restaurant and get a good table, and if you go to a club and they have a bouncer in front, and there's a velvet rope, you just get right through, and you get a, a free subscription to TV Guide. And, uh, <laughs> So those are the obvious things. The downside is, is that you're on TV. That's the downside because, um, you know, you can be at home and you can look in the mirror and you think you know what you look like, but it's just a mirror and you, this is all you see. When you're on TV, it is like a magnifying glass. It's like, it exaggerates everything about you. Plus, I have a big TV, a 19-incher. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and if you have surround sound, I look at myself and I look like a <laughs> just like a monster trying to attack my own TV. But you notice all the imperfections when you're on television. You see every single thing. It's like if you can understand, like when you listen to a tape recorder and you listen to yourself talk and you think, that's not how I talk. I don't talk like that. My voice is not nearly that high, you know? And it's exactly how you talk, but everybody's like, yeah, that's how you sound. I sound that whiny. I don't sound like that. <laughs> So the point is, I saw myself on TV a few weeks ago, and uh, last week actually, and um, I couldn't believe my hair. I, I, it was so big. It was just, the, it was larger than usual. It was like a bouffant. And for those of you who don't speak French, it's like, like blonde cotton candy. My hair was like, children were trying to eat it. It was huge. It was, and what happened was, what happened was I decided to use some hairspray just because I wanted to be adventurous, you know, I just wanted to do something a little different, you know, like the time I wore a bolo tie. And uh, <laughs> why won't I learn? And so, and hairspray is good in small doses. It's, you can cross a line, and if you wear enough hairspray legally, I don't think you have to wear a helmet. Um, <laughs> it was, <laughs> and, and I don't understand why no one said anything to me, or even hinted like, It's one thing, you know, to, to look back at your high school yearbook and go, what was I thinking with that hair? But this was last week, you know? <laughs> and so I got a haircut, and, uh, and then suddenly everybody noticed. Everybody's like, oh, your hair looks great. You know, and then they go overboard with it. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. Don't you love it? Ellen's hair is adorable. It's darling. Oh, it's stupendous. <laughs> I don't know what you did, but just keep doing that. What they're saying really is, please don't go back to whatever you did before. <laughs>